Hey everyone, welcome to Pada Live. This is me, Anik Omagan. And uh, today is a special day, like one of my most favorite filmmakers in our country, that is Karan Johar, a visionary and uh, the managing director, or you say CEO of uh, Dharma Productions, one of the biggest production houses in our country, has launched his new film. That is, he's returning back to the director's seat after five years. That is, after a little mushkil. So, Karan Johar has faced a lot of things, a lot of hatred in these five years, be it the nepotism debate, be it the, uh, his fight with uh, Kangana Ranaut, or a lot of things, even with the Sushant Singh, the late Sushant Singh Rajput uh, debate, and all these fights and all these debates going on with it. So, it's particularly uh, going to be very tough for him to come with this film. The film is titled Rocky or Rani Ki Prem Kahani. It's a Hindi film, of course. So, he has not told or he has not said that this is a pan-Indian film at any point of time. That is a great thing to see. So, it's an exciting film and it's written by Ishita Moitra, Sashank Haitan. You might be knowing Sashank Haitan from the director of Hamti Sharma Ki Dulhaniya, Badrinath Ki Dulhaniya and all. And, you know, Sumit Roy has written the story as well, story and screenplay. And the dialogues are by Ishita Moitra. So, it's a young team. Uh, Karan Johar is only directing. Usually, he only directs. Uh, when he writes, he only writes, so it's quite a different kind of an experience for him as well, I feel. And uh, you know, he's working with the young directors. I hope this upcoming film, upcoming romantic saga will be as interesting or as entertaining as uh, we expect it to be. Or it can go anywhere, like it can be awesome or it can be bad. It depends on what the film has to hold. And we have Ranveer Singh, the amazing actor. Happy birthday Ranveer Singh, today is his birthday, so it's uh, announced on his birthday. So happy birthday to Ranveer Singh. I think Ranveer Singh had a quite a what is an interesting journey in these 10 years. I think he has gone from high to high. Like he's always high. He's always crazy. From not <laughs> I'm not talking about his attires and all that looks and all. Uh, he's amazing. He's going to headline this project along with Alia Bhatt. And Alia Bhatt, you know, has been introduced to film industry by Karan Johar. So it's going to be a full on circle for her. And let's hope it to be a good romantic film or good entertaining film. That is what is more important in these times. And what I heard, like, it's announced that Shavana Azmi, Jaya Bachchan and Dharmendra Ji are going to be part of this film. Like, they are going to be the supporting cast of the film. So, there are a lot of other additions well, as well, like, they are going to be DOP and all the other technicians but from what i hear from what i hear from the industry sources or the inside sources is that uh, music composer pritam chakrabarti that is pritam he's going to compose music for this film and you know takht was announced before this film from karan johar like it was going to be his uh, directorial like historical film he wanted to uh, do his own kind of a uh, version of bahubali and stuff but uh, that could not happen because it's a mega budget it's a what do you say high budget film so you can't go on flows with uh, Thak right now because of the pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic. So that is the reason they are going with this Rocky or Rani Ki Prem Kahani. And for Thak, I think A.R. Rahman sir was composing the music for it. So I don't think if A.R. Rahman is composing for this film, but from what I hear from inside sources is Pritam who is going to be back after Adela Mushkil and you know about Adela Mushkil. It had the Channa Mere Ya Mere Ya Channa Mere Ya Mere Ya Amazing song. And the whole soundtrack was amazing. Like it was like there has to be a different, uh, what do you say, separate video for uh, talking about the soundtrack of the film. So Adela Mushkil is a soundtrack which is close to my heart. And all the soundtracks of Karan Johar are to, close to my heart. Like he has a great music taste. Uh, he as a visionary is framing composition in his films are quite unique and quite uh, he does it well like he might have a lot of hatred and a lot of mixed reactions from the public whether he does only these higher class things higher uh, stuff and okay I agree to them that he does not uh, do versatile work or he does not offer any kind of variety but uh, coming to that but what he does is he has a great music taste his music taste is very unique it's quite uh, popular at, at the same time it it uh, evokes you it keeps you emotional so personally i feel as a filmmaker he knows his things he is going with his things i think we should uh, wait for this film uh, wait for this film to come and give our reaction to it so let's hope and happy birthday to ranveer singh once again and wishing this film rocky or rani ki prem kahani 
<laughs> I have to buy this film's title. It's a long title. After Dil Wale, Dil Haniya Le Jayenge, Dil Hai Tumhare Bina. So all these kind of big, big titles, right? So it's very difficult to remember. But it will come to mind. Like people will come with R A R P K K. <laughs> I hope I am right. So let's wait for the official updates from the film and uh, let's get back to our work. See you all with more videos and more content. See you guys. Bye.